I'm Karen Conrad. And I'm Adam Dill. And we are ready for the big reveal. Yes, we're super excited for you to see it. A lot of time and energy. Yes. Um, but I, I honestly didn't think it would turn out this incredible. I didn't either. I was so happy. And you know, we've had a lot of people come and look at it too. And they're just like, oh my goodness, this is absolutely beautiful. Which of course is music to our ears because that's what we were going after. Yes, man, we had a great turnout, a lot of people. And I was just so excited with the feedback. So we're excited. We want to show this off to you today. I know you've been following us to see the before and afters, and we really want to reveal all the final steps that we've taken to make this home what it is today. Do you know, obviously the colors and the fixtures and things were very important to this house. But Adam just said before I even went on camera, he said all of that would be nothing if we didn't show how to live in each room. I'll tell you with this room, the challenge was it's actually a very small seating space and we needed to help make it look livable and we had to grab them. This is the first room that people see when they come in the house. And with the seven second rule, if we didn't capture them during this time, we would lose them. So a lot of what we did in this room really had to do with the staging. And so as you can see, we stayed with the colors, we stayed with the green, we stayed with the gold, we stayed with the black and the white. And I went with like an elegant farmhouse look, which is really in right now. So we wanted to show that you could actually have a full size couch. And as you can see, we really scaled down the chairs. Uh, we also wanted to maximize the view here. We've got beautiful pine trees. And so we added my IKEA curtains. As a matter of fact, they were on sale this weekend for $3.99 a pair. And it just gives you a nice backdrop with the things that were actually part of this home, the beautiful trees. And so this just shows you how important staging is. And I believe we created a very nice look that was inviting and impressive to keep the attention of the buyer. Well, I wanted to walk you guys through really one of the rooms that Karen and I spent the most time in. If you remember early on, this fireplace just had a single band of tile around it. So one of the things that we wanted to do was bring in that mountain feel. So we brought in this natural ledge stone to really warm up the area, really showcase this fireplace, um, changed out some of the light fixtures. We have this gorgeous um, wrought iron and brass light fixture that plays in nicely with some of the fixtures on the exterior and a lot of the other modern brass fixtures that we brought into the home. And then lastly, we ended up tearing the carpet out of here because I don't know a whole lot of people that want carpet in their dining room. But we tore out the carpet, we laid all new hardwood up here on this level and really, really just excited with how well this room turned out. Now, you might say flowers are flowers, but you know what? That is not the case. If you look at these flowers, what I did is I chose flowers that were white that had a little bit of gold in them and it tied into over here a picture that is no longer offered at IKEA, but I have a few of them that's got that same look of the flower. So when we tie this into the table, it gives an incredibly impressive look. And then we didn't want to get too formal. So you'll see that I popped in a few things, bringing in a mixture of textures and a mixture of maybe country and rustic with elegant. So Adam, what do you think of the finished product in the kitchen? I'm loving this. I'm ready to go uh, remodel my kitchen again. I think this turned out really well and we've gotten some really great feedback on it. Yeah. So kind of take, uh, take them through what we did to really bring this together. So this tile was really our showcase piece. I mean, we it started was. here in, you know, it just kind of expanded and evolved and we looked through granite, quartz, mm -hmm. marble. I mean, we spent so much time looking at countertops that would pull together with that tile. Mm -hmm. And I think this is key for you because if you're looking at your home and maybe considering renovation, you do not have to wipe out all the natural stone, all the browns that maybe you've carried through, but you can work with them and combine them. And then do you want to just comment on the appliances because you did have to do a little bit of work to make sure the appliances worked in here. So one of the biggest costs you have in a kitchen is obviously the refrigerator where this owner had already had a very nice refrigerator that was in place. So we were on the search to try to find other GE slate appliances that we could put in that matched it, yep. just to find out a lot of them had been discontinued in that finish, <laughs> yes, darn. which made it a lot of fun. <laughs> um, but we were able to finally track them down in one of my favorite pieces is actually the, the double oven or the oven microwave combo. 
And you know, it's tricky. We had to bring in a carpenter just to do a little bit of reframing on the cabinet to accommodate it, yes. move a little bit of electrical. Mm -hmm. But the cost to do that versus the cost to have torn out all of these cabinets was, I mean, yes. wasn't even measurable. So we were able to provide a brand new kitchen for a fraction of the cost of what most people would pay for a kitchen renovation. Well, Adam, every house we work on has a challenge, yes. but I will tell you that this room was by far the biggest challenge I think we've ever faced. Would you agree? Oh, I completely agree. <laughs> it, it takes a lot for you and I to walk into a space <laughs> and have no ideas and nothing to say. That's true. We really had to think it through and we tossed across a few ideas and we kind of landed on just uh, kind of making everything we could black, show some nice updated fixtures. We did a little powder coating on the actual faucet for the bathtub, and we just pulled it together with a lot of white towels. And I actually love this bathroom. It's one of my favorites that we've ever done. Yep, I completely agree. Well, Adam, this was a really fun project. Yes. Really fun, very challenging, but extremely rewarding. Yeah, it really is. And so some people might say, what, why do you do this? Because obviously there's some, most agents aren't going to do all the things that we do to pull this together. So how would you answer that? Why do we do what we do? You know, it's something that we're capable of. It's something we're good at. It's something that we are designed and hardwired yes, to do. It's true. And and even though there's those hard days, those challenging days, uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun. And I love being able to get the work done for the clients. And I know you and I both love, and you can talk about it a little bit more, but just when you get to go tell somebody that you're going to get this much more money and it's going to yes. be real. And when you get that offer and that contract, and then you go to the closing table, it's a very emotional time for them. It is. It, it really contributes to their livelihood and it helps them take that money into the next home and you know there's a lot of things that we could do with our work but we really have to work in our purpose and in the gifts and talents that we have and so i think when we bring that to the table and the system that we've created you know it's just all about being a blessing to the people that we work with and so this is a great example we're so happy for the seller with this house and we were just talking about even with the buyers like how this is going to be amazing for their family Oh, completely. This is going to be an incredible home for them. And that's my favorite part about what we do is we don't take shortcuts. The quality of construction that's done in the projects that we're a part of mm -hmm. is done to the best of our abilities, the best of our trades abilities. And we find great materials at a good price. We do. We're deal shoppers, but we also want to make sure that the quality is there because it's our integrity as well. So Adam, I'm sure people watching this, hopefully you've really enjoyed us on this journey through Orchard Valley. And if someone wanted to get a hold of us or maybe wanted to learn a little bit more about how we work and see if we might be a good fit for them, what, what would you suggest? How can they get a hold of us? Really, I think the best way is just to give us a call. We're not high pressure sales people. Yeah. Obviously what we do is very personal, very hands-on, mm -hmm. uh, but to start that process correctly, it's really about just a casual visit, sitting down and talking through what are your goals? What are your dreams? You know, right. and if it's not this home, if it's selling this home, going on to the next, then how can we use this home as, a, as an instrument yes. of success to achieve those goals and dreams? Yes. And so really it just comes down to reaching out to us um, at any time, you know, you get a hold of me on my cell phone, night or day, it's 719-243-1270. You can find me at adamdillrealtor.com. Um, and I know you've got your website. I do, it's karenconrad.net. You can reach out to me too. Uh, I've got a phone number that's 612-532-4874. And we would just love to help you to have a similar experience as to what we have shared at Orchard Valley.